Hello everyone! Today we're talking all about the books I'm planning to read in August. So this one, this TBR is going to be very different from my other TBRs because usually with each month I have a very set schedule of what I like to read and that's just my personality. I am a mood reader but usually I like to stick to a schedule and things like that and list. This month it's very different because I'm only showing you four books I want to read this month. It's not all the books I want to read this month but I'm just showing you four because this month I'm gonna try just to read whatever I feel like. This month is really gonna truly be a mood like month. Whatever I'm feeling is a book I'm gonna grab. So I'm only showing you four books that I know for sure that I'm planning to read and I was gonna show a whole bunch of other ones but I don't know if I'm gonna read them. This month I just really want to walk up to my shelf and grab four or five books that I think I might like and put them back if I don't like them and continue on. Do you get what I'm saying? I just want to have the flexibility of not having a TBR. <laughs> I don't know. Also, this month is the last month of like not a ton of new releases that I'm highly anticipating or very interested in. September is a big release month. So is October. So is November. Those are three really big new release months that I've already set. I've, I'm already excited for all the books that are coming out. I can't work my to be read shelf into that. So this month is just really going to be catching up for me, just pulling a lot from my shelf that I've been meaning to all, all year. And yeah, anyway, I'm really on a lot. I'm sorry. So the four books I'm definitely for sure reading this month. The first one is My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You I'm Sorry by Frederick Bachman. I'm reading this because it's the last Frederick Bachman book I have to read before I'm finally caught up on all of his books. If you guys don't know, I do author specific videos. I've done them on Sarah Dessen, Sophie Kinsella, and Casey West. And I want to do more. And with that, I have to read more books by a certain author. So Frederick Bachman is one. So this is the last book I have to read of his before I've read all of his other books. And I feel like I could do an author specific video. So goodness gracious, that was a long intro. Basically, this is all about a main character named Elsa who is seven years old and her grandmother has just passed passed away. And Elsa's grandmother leaves her a series of letters um, for Elsa to deliver to give to people that she's apologizing to. So basically it's about Elsa's journey to give all these letters and basically saying my grandmother asked me to say I'm sorry. I haven't read this one yet because Frederick Bachman has a way of kind of writing sad but quirky books. I've loved all of his books before and if you've heard of the book Brit Marie Was Here, this is kind of like a sequel to that which I read first which probably isn't the best thing but either way I'm reading this for sure so be sure to look out a review for this and a whole video on Frederick Bachman alone. Uh, I'm sorry I'm rambling way too much. Um, it's a weird day. The next book for sure I want to read is Ghosted by Roji Wal- by Roji? What's wrong with me? By Rosie Walsh. This is a book about somebody being ghosted, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not know what that meant. I saw all the reviews and everybody talking about this book like, oh, ghosted, I know exactly what this book was about. I did not know. So basically ghosted is when you're talking to somebody and they just straight up start talking to you. Like you don't know why, they just disappeared from your life. Why? So basically in this book we follow a character named Sarah and Sarah meets Eddie. They connect instantly and fall deeply in love and everything's finally going perfect. So Eddie leaves for this vacation and he promises to call um, Sarah from the airport and then Eddie doesn't call and he doesn't call for a long time and Sarah's friends all tell her not to worry about it but she knows there's something up and you know Eddie would call and so basically she goes on a mission to find Eddie and yeah that's what this book is about. It's kind of like part romance part mystery so I'm very very intrigued by it. The reviews have been kind of up and down about it. Some people really like it, some people don't. I'll just have to wait and see but it just sounds so intriguing for me not to read. Um, another adult book that I want to read is Good Luck With That by Christina by Kristen Higgins. Um, this is my first book by her. I think she's written several other ones before but this is about three friends who are best friends and one of them tragically dies and she, she leaves the, the girl that died leaves one final wish for her best friends to conquer the fears they still carry as adults. For each of them that means something different so basically this book follows each of the characters as they conquer the fears that you know they need to conquer and yeah I think this is kind of like a chiclety maybe deeper sad book this one sounds like it could make me cry but I don't know we'll have to see these are also the month of books where I'm reading where I don't know much about um, the last one I know for sure that I want to read is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik I actually have uprooted right here from the library I put this out I'm going to try to read Uprooted first, but Uprooted I've heard a lot of good things about and a lot of mixed things about, but I really am interested 
if I had to pick one, I'm more interested in spinning silver, if that makes any sense. So this one for sure I think I'm going to check out. This is kind of like a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin, and it's kind of like a companion slash kind of sequel to Uprooted. Either way, I want to read both of these, but something in my gut tells me I feel like I'm going to read Spinning Silver over Uprooted. I don't know. Like I said, this month is just the month of just reading whatever. So those are the only books I'm going to show you guys because as of right now, I don't know. There's a lot of books on my TBR that I could read that I really want to read and my TBR is actually getting down to a pretty good size where I feel like comfortable with it not overwhelmed I feel like I really I feel like if I really focus on that this August I can even get it down more and that's my goal so apologies for not sharing you what I'm reading because I don't know quite yet this month's gonna be just a uh, grab whatever I'm in the mood for month and I'm excited for the openness of that because you guys know I love reading new releases I do I, I really do because I love talking about you guys I, I love talking about them like similar when they come out and yeah this month is a little bit month for new releases but either way let me end this because it's way too long. Those are the only books I'm planning to read this month. I hope that's okay with you guys. I'm kind of being a little bit secretive, but not secretive because I don't know what I'm going to read. But I, but I hope I like the four books that I'm for sure reading. Who knows? Maybe those will be the only four that I read. I don't know. Time will tell. <laughs> and let me know if you ever have months of if you are a TBR setter much like myself where you have months where you just kind of don't plan one you just read whatever you feel like I would love to hear your thoughts on how you really control your TBR and things like that if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one and also look out for magic reviews whatever read this month for sure they will be in magic reviews as always bye guys